Tonight on Live Action News, we have an exclusive interview with the world's most famous bearded lady, Bruce Caitlyn Jenner. Later we discuss with former Vice President Al Gore, will there be life on Earth after a Donald Trump presidency? Good evening, I'm Tommy Lyons and this is Live Action News Now. This evening, we have in the studio someone who has been awarded the Arthur Ashe Courage Award for 2015 and was on the cover of Vanity Fair this past July for the cover story entitled, Call Me Caitlin. She joins us now. Wait. Caitlin, excuse me, please. So can I take my ponytail out? Folks, we have breaking news. This, this just in. We have received a phone call, a live phone call, from a man who claims he's been abducted by some sort of alien spacecraft and is still on board at this very moment. Is this report for real? Okay. Okay, I've just been told that we have an exclusive live video and photographs that this man has sent to our studio via Instagram. And we have him live now via Skype. We go live now to the individual. Hello, sir. This is Tommy Lyons with Live Action News. Um, are you there? Can you hear us? I'm here. Can you see me? Yes, we can see you, sir. Now, what is your name and where are you? My name is Rick. Rick Lincoln. I seem to be trapped in some sort of cocoon. I, I was leaving the Waffle House when they took me. I had hash browns scattered, smothered, and covered with a side of bacon. It was really good. That's when they took me. I was I was headed home to watch a Charlie Brown Christmas with my son, Carl. That's when they took me, so we had a scuffle, and they took my cigarettes and my wallet, but they didn't take my lighter or my cell phone. That's how I'm calling you. These guys must have really killer Wi-Fi, but uh, I must have blacked out after that, and I woke up here. Ooh, hash browns sound really good. Um, maybe Caitlin can join me after the crisis. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Lincoln, are you injured or can you move at all? I'm not injured, but my stomach hurts. The hash browns were a little too greasy. So my cigarette lighter, it has a knife on it. I got it at the flea market. I'm going to try to cut myself out of this cocoon. Rick, can you describe the aliens that abducted you? What do they look like? They look really weird. They had small bodies, big glowing heads. Kind of weird. I think I'm out. Can you describe what you're seeing now? Well, it's, it, it's really dark here. I seem to be in some sort of cargo bay. There's a lot of strange things here, and I don't see any other cocoons. I must be the first one. It looks like you have freed yourself from the cocoon. Can you tell us if you are still in the spacecraft or maybe on another planet or a mothership? Or It feels like we're moving. I feel a slight vibration in the floor. This craft really rides pretty smooth. It kind of reminds me of my granddad's old 77 Lincoln Continental. Dude, they've collected more junk than Fred Sanford. It's, it looks like a bad episode of Sanford and Son. Pretty creepy. 
They've got a little bit of everything. Rick, do you think you can find a way to escape, or at least a, a weapon, to protect yourself? It's really dark. I'm looking around. Ooh, I found some antique knives. Look antique. Why would the aliens collect antique knives? That's just creepy. My goodness, Rick, this is amazing. It's just... Shh. I can hear them talking. What are they saying? What are you going to... Dude, could you stop talking so loud? They're going to hear us. I don't have my earbuds. They took those too. Sorry, Rick. Be careful. I found some kind of door. I think the aliens are on the other side of this door. I want to check it. What are you going to do? I think if I can get close enough to them, I can take them out. Zombie style. Steak knife to the head. But if you kill them all, who will fly the spacecraft? Good point. Maybe I'll just stab one or two. Make the other fly the ship and take me home. Is he drinking coffee? Rick, please be careful. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I'm gonna leave the phone here. Oh my, he's actually doing it. Oh my God. Rick, are you okay? Can you hear me? You listen to me, little alien dude. I'm going to stick this knife in your skull, just like your friends, unless you take me home. Give me back my wallet, my cigarettes. These are six dollars a pack, and my car keys. Good job, Rick. Wow, that was scary. Rick, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Looks like a little alien dude turned the ship around. We're headed back home. Oh my God! How many aliens have you killed? How many people have you killed? Why? Rick, are you okay? Can you hear me? Take me back to the Waffle House. Don't do anything stupid. Now open the cargo bay door and don't do anything stupid. Come with me. Dude, how'd you land this spaceship so close to my truck? Rick, why did you kill the last one? It seemed to do everything you asked. Because this spaceship, it's ours. Mine and Carl's. They don't know who they're dealing with. Well, okay, Rick, what are you going to do now? Do you think you should go to the ER, maybe get checked out? You could be radioactive or have alien probes or implants in your body. And I imagine law enforcement should be there very soon. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I think I'll run for president now against Hillary Clinton. Rick, after all you've been through, why would you consider such a thing? 
Ask Hillary, how many aliens have you killed? How many people have you killed? Why? Would you rather have her as a president or a guy that just killed three aliens with a set of steak knives and took their spaceship on live television? A very poignant point, Rick. Well done, sir, and please stay on the line. We have to go through the first one. Folks, there you have it. You have seen it here first. Rick Lincoln saves the world from alien invasion and announces his presidential campaign for 2016. I assume he will be running as a Republican. I'm Tommy Lyons, and this is Live Action News. Now, the world will return.